All right, welcome back to Daybreak. We are at the tail end of the show. And earlier on, I played you the clip, or we played you the clip of uh, William Bruto, Uhuru Kenyatta, and Raila Odinga saying the same thing, but differently. And uh, what should you take from such conversations? Because they appear at a national platform, they address us with the best interest of this country, in quotes, and they say that uh, their agenda is purely to unif unify the country and transform the country. But then again, the undertones <laughs> are different. Well, uh, you know, we ask ourselves, are there benefits that we have accrued as a country uh, with the handshake mm -hmm. or even with the BBI initiatives uh, in general? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we have actually ended our political animosity. Mm -hmm. We have lowered our political temperatures. This country was literally grounding to a halt had it not been for the handshake. Uh, and therefore, BBI has given Kenyans an opportunity mm -hmm. to also look into in-depth mm -hmm. the issues that have continued to bedevil them mm -hmm. since time immemorial. And we cannot run away from the fact that there are issues quite germane, salient and fundamental mm -hmm. that have affected this country. Right. So we cannot just sweep them under the carpet. I looked at what my brothers from uh, Mount Kenya mm -hmm. uh, did say. Actually, uh, we are privileged to have their spokesperson with us, mm -hmm. uh, Honorable Kioni. Mm -hmm. You, you know, that with a smile, why? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm happy he's here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you, you, you look at the, the holes that they are trying to punch mm -hmm. into a BBI report that is yet to be released, and you ask yourself, did they have moles in that particular uh, you suppose. know, committee, mm -hmm. uh, that they know certain things that have not come out mm -hmm. uh, into the limelight. Mm -hmm. But again, even if they knew certain things, mm -hmm. we ask ourselves, will the BBI initiative committee go beyond its mandate mm -hmm. of delving on the nine-point agenda mm -hmm. as were prescribed by both President Uhuru Kenyatta and Right Honorable Raila Mulodinga? Mm -hmm. If they confine themselves to those issues, and those issues, I want to believe, came as a result of a protracted mediation mm -hmm. between President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. And if those are issues that we all agree mm -hmm. have affected our progress, then there is no reason uh, to oppose. Otherwise, but we did shall we be agree turning in the myopic. First place? Uh, sorry. Did we ever agree that those are the issues that concern us, and that is the right uh, framework to pursue it through the BBI task force? I, I want to believe that Uhuru Kenyatta represents a huge population in this country. Uh, Raila Odinga equally represents a huge population of this country. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we would have made them our leaders if they cannot champion our interests. Okay. And, and besides that, they also have benefit mm -hmm. from a lot of advice mm -hmm. from very good people, such mm -hmm. as uh, Honorable Abdi Kadir here with us. Okay. So Previously. If, <laughs> yeah. Well, still, I think still is. <laughs> so so if, if they had an opportunity to meet mm. and come up with issues that they believe okay. uh, affect us as a society, then we have to give them an opportunity therefore to expand it further. All right. You talked about inclusivity and I want you to know that two years ago, mm -hmm. the Public Service Commission did present a very harsh verdict mm -hmm. on the conduct of this government that 65% of positions in government are occupied by two ethnic communities. Mm -hmm. That is a harsh indictment. We cannot allow that. A country that has, a popu uh, has 43 ethnic groupings, mm -hmm. you have only two occupying public service, and the biggest employer in the world it's is always the government. Right. So then you are denying many Kenyans <coughs> who okay. I want to believe are also equally qualified to occupy those positions just because they have wrong names mm -hmm. uh, in their surnames. Mm -hmm. If I become a Mr. Okello, that is itself mm -hmm. a deterrent mm -hmm. towards getting a job. Profiled. So we have to look at issues uh, quite broadly. Okay. Uh, and again, there's this notion that you know it will lead into a referendum. Some of these issues that have pre been presented by our leaders here, mm -hmm. ethnic antagonism, inclusivity, uh, fight against corruption, you know, security, you don't really need an additional law okay. to have them operationalized mm -hmm. unless you are saying mm -hmm. that you are going to tinker 
with certain elements of administration in line with Article 255 of the Constitution. Okay. And that may relate to issues of devolution, the mm -hmm. principles and functions, mm -hmm. because I have had a few Kenyans saying, let's push it to 45%. Uh, of the, our national revenue from 15%, then that calls for a referendum. Okay. If we have to expand the cake mm -hmm. so that many Kenyans can be part of it, then that calls for a referendum. Right. But why can't we just be a little patient uh, <laughs> before the Mount Kenya jumps into conclusions? Oh, oh, all right, you, you talk of patience. Let's listen into what um, <laughs> Raila Odinga, Hassan Johan, um, the deputy government, uh, deputy governor of Kisi, as well as uh, Silvana Sosoro MP had to say in as far as this is concerned. report is something that would not meet the threshold of the people of Kenya and the people of Gusi, we as leaders of this region will come together and will mobilize our people to oppose it. Kama bibi yae kazi yake ni kutuambia vile president anachaguliwa kule bungeni, vile sijui tutaketi chini watu wataka tusame nani raisi, sisi hatu takubali kwa sababu it will not be for the interest of the common man. Okay, so it is not for the interest of the common man. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I say sometimes we thrive on ignorance. <laughs> because we jump into a debate of something we have not even seen. Right. You know, you, you hear rumors and then you make it mm -hmm. look like... Uh, so, sorry, you lost your mic. I, I think you need sorry. to fix it. But even mm -hmm. as you do that, so mm -hmm. the political posturing and positioning that people are taking, in readiness for a report, they do not know its contents, but <laughs> already saying that if the issue is this, we'll not support. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't address this, we'll not support, like uh, Moshimo Akioni says. So how does this BBI report, in closing, how does it survive the politics and politicians of the country? I think it's, it's really a, a point at where the problem lies. I think the, the, the last few weeks have told us where the problem is, which is really what the gentleman, the two gentlemen pointed out at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Ethnic antagonism, mm -hmm. lack of national ethos, mm -hmm. inclusivity, devolution, mm -hmm. all these stems from bad politics. Right. You see, competition is no problem. Competition for high office is, is absolutely necessary and, and encouraged. And even regional competition, whether, whether Mount Kenya feels they should go X or, or, or Northern Kenya, for example, feels they should go Y, that is important and it's encouraged. Mm. That's not where the problem lies. The problem lies from destructive politics, right. which is based on ethnicity, mm -hmm. which is based on, on, on nothing high. It's, it's really the lowest common denominator. Let us exclude these others and ABCD. And, and, the, and the use of that by political uh, uh, leaders to right. try and 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 mobilize. Mm -hmm. uh, so so if we go down the same path where one group says don't go for parliamentary because you will be excluded by those who have few numbers but high numbers in parliament. Right. The other group says this is going to be against us. Let's let's. Th th those are really tribal formations forming for a, a tribal battle. All right. That is a problem. All right. Yes. And of course they say that politics is local. So Jeremiah Kioni, mm -hmm. um, in 2010 you passed a new constitution and th now there's uh, the thought or the imagination that uh, it will be required to um, uh, review some of the provisions. Uh, so therefore, like I asked him, how do we survive that? Uh, we do what's useful for the country, but um, don't get, um, uh, don't lose direction because of politics and politicians. One is that, uh, for the record, I don't oppose BBI. Mm -hmm. I support it, and I look forward to um, reading it and seeing what we can mm -hmm. work with. Mm -hmm. Without doubt, mm -hmm. throwing it away means even Vision 2030 mm -hmm. will become difficult to uh, achieve, and many other things that we do want to achieve. So I support BBI. Um, without a doubt, okay. and uh, why there's a report is because they are, we will debate mm -hmm. what is in it. Mm. Uh, Mount Kenya jumping into the to, to it too early, I think it's not right. But uh, who else did it better than the, the former prime minister at Mashujati? He even asked people to raise their hands. <laughs> if they support those the who support BBI. So uh. again, another um, wrong accusation. Okay. Um, uh, that all one of the things that we need to implement in the constitution is we want the minority to play their role in parliament. 
if they had played their rightful role in parliament, and mm -hmm. it is not a crime to be in the minority, mm -hmm. some of the appointments that we already have, mm -hmm. and some I, I agree are not right, mm -hmm. they would have been able to oppose us in government. That is what they are, they are meant to do. I wish you could say so they need, they need, they need to stop. <laughs> there are some appointments that have been done, and we thought they would have said no to them. Okay. So. Let's play our role. But why can't you? Because uh, you have the oversight. Uh, parliament, yes, parliament but is no, no, no. <laughs> the issue is this. I am in government and we have done this appointment. Okay. They are the ones who are supposed to check <laughs> on what we are doing and okay. tell us or throw us down on the areas that they think we are becoming excessive. Instead uh -huh. of coming to our side, mm -hmm. then we have nobody to tell us who is not uh, dressed. Okay. Okay. I mean, so I mean, they, they, they have to accept that uh, they have also failed us all right. in implementing okay. this constitution. Uh, oh, 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 all right. And, we, need, uh, we need to wind up. Allow me to cut it short so that They ran quickly into the majority. Let's take the the closing remarks from Tibonyanyi and uh, Kelo. I think we should look at uh, uh, PBI not as a document that is cast in stone. Mm -hmm. it, it's a, a document that is going to come out. Kenyans will look at it. The Kenyans will debate and will decide what is best for them. Mm -hmm. And from what uh, the, the terms of reference that were given to that team, okay. they were very clear. Mm -hmm. And they did not just sit back in the boardroom to mm -hmm. write the report. They went around Kenya, collected views from Kenyans, right. and prominent Kenyans gave uh, their views. Mm -hmm. So I believe what they are bringing is a collective uh, uh, opinion of Kenyans. Right. So, so let, us, let, let us see it, and then we can depend. Because it will go around the counties, count assemblies, then it will come to parliament, and the Kenyans will still uh, All right. uh, 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 and there are few so that you can see if we can improve it All right. or, 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 or go with it the way it is. You're already insinuating that it would be an approach of uh, the popular initiative. Uh, so finally, okay, Lo. BBI is susceptible to opposition. It began right from day one. There are people who believed that the two Presid uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta and Right Honorable <laughs> Barail Odinga mm -hmm. couldn't meet without their participation. Mm -hmm. So the problem began there. Mm -hmm. uh, that is why immediately after BBI was taken to a court mm -hmm. to be challenged by one Ekuru court, and mm -hmm. that matter was thrown out. That is why they then went ahead to craft mm -hmm. in a small room mm -hmm. 1.2 million signatures to mm -hmm. subject right. Punguza Mizigo initiative to the counties and mm -hmm. it flopped. Uh, so th such fights are, are going to continue. Uh, but we are ready for them uh, mm -hmm. because the views and wishes <laughs> of Kenyans must carry the day. Finally, let me say this, uh -huh. that each time Right Honorable Raila Odinga has reached out to Uhuru Kenyatta and vice versa, okay. because corruption is domiciled within Jubilee, Uhuru Kenyatta has always gotten a new impetus to fight corruption the more with a lot of confidence and gusto. Without Raila Odinga in that structure, mm -hmm. And Jubilee, with its corruption scandals, it becomes very difficult for the president to survive. <laughs> and that is why each time, as my brother did allude, each time ODM reaches out to the government, their war is actually upscaled. Okay. To guide Janoma's levels. They, they, they know where they are and they are the protector. <laughs> Jeremiah Kiyoni will never let uh, Jared Okil have the final word. But thank you so much, gentlemen, for your views. But I take uh, uh, quite some interest when you say that we are going to uh, support the BBI. I don't know who we are, but all the same, thank you so much for making time for us. I wish you could take a look at uh, some of the feedback that you've been sharing, but I uh, will do so at the tail end of the show. It ends at 10 o'clock, but for you, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Abdi Karim Mohammed. Um, Jeremiah Kioni, Tim Wanyoni, as well as Jared Okello for making time for us. Up next is Sporty Monday. Willis Rabura has been making noise at uh, my ear, uh, celebrating the um, eloquence and language of uh, Jared Okello. I don't know whether they come from the same constituency, but... Uh, oh, yeah, Raburu says that you are his MP, so uh, we'll give him a chance to ask you which team you support. Wh which team do you support? Where? The PL. Uh, uh, well, as an all, definitely. Oh, Though we are God. deep down no, now. No, that's how you number four, five. That's how yeah. you part oh. uh, with Raburu because it's a post We belong to the same side. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, oh. And good wishes to our candidates, both from four yeah. and uh, primary schools, okay. particularly those from Nyando constituents. <laughs> <laughs> and Daragua constituents. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> like I said, Jeremiah Kioni will not let Okelo have the final word. That's our time. Back in a moment with Sporty Monday. <laughs>